Did you know that sometimes you can earn Ouroboros crown crates just from watching ESO Twitch streamers? That's right. All you have to do is make sure you're logged in on a Twitch account that's linked to your Elder Scrolls Online account, and then watch your favorite ESO PvP streamers that have drops enabled sh** and pits and scream and cry What the f about the state of PvP for about an hour in order to claim your drop. Then you can log in and talk to this little scam artist and have your day absolutely ruined when he gives you nothing but absolute garbage. While the concept of these drops is pretty dope, the contents of the Ouroboros crown crates are a little underwhelming to put it nicely. In fact, it's kind of a running meme among community members that Ouroboros items are pretty trash and a lot of these items will simply get turned into crown gems. Despite this, I wanted to call attention to one of the particular items that that you can get from these crates, and all other crates for that matter. Mimic Stones. These items are also occasionally rewarded as daily login rewards, and you can also receive them from purchasing styles through the crown store. Mimic Stones allow you to craft a piece of gear in any style. You learn styles by reading motif pages. Anytime you craft an item, you have to choose a style for it. Whether that's an ugly ass, a low res base game style, or the newest, swankiest motif style that just came out. Since you have to pick a style for the item that you're crafting, that means you will always need to use a style material in order to craft some gear. The point of the Mimic Stones is that you won't need to use a style material in order to craft a piece of gear and can instead decide to use a Mimic Stone in its place. For example, if I want to craft an item in the Steadfast Society style, I would normally have to use one Stendar Stamp, the Steadfast Society's material. But if I don't want to use a Stendar Stamp because maybe I don't have one on me at the moment or because Stendar Stamps are pricey after all, I can decide to use a Mimic Stone instead. This exact notion can come in handy when looking to complete master rates for vouchers, but let's say you're a newer player and couldn't give two fucks about what the heck a master rate is. These trade stones, whether they come from crown crates or from any other source, can actually be used to make a bit of gold, despite the fact that they themselves are bound to your account and cannot be traded. Granted, many players will likely stick to turning these stones into gems whenever they can, but do recall that this is only possible when they drop from crown crates. And hey, maybe as a newer player, you're not really worried about crown gems. You need tons of them to be able to get neat cosmetics anyways, and maybe you're just looking for some gold to help you get a jump start on your adventures in ESO. Whatever the case may be, you can use Mimic Stones to make a bit of gold. Here's how. As mentioned previously, style materials are necessary in order to craft gear of a certain style. They are also needed to craft furnishings of a related style. For example, Shimmering Sand, or as some people call it, Kitty Litter, has a chance to drop upon deconstructing gear in the Anequina style and it is necessary in order to craft elsewhere themed furnishings. Arc Sand Sprockets have a chance to drop upon deconstructing gear that is of the Arc Sand Armory style, and they are needed to craft Markar themed furnishings. Because some of these style materials are needed to craft furnishings, that makes them fairly valuable items. Thus, it's worth considering doing DLC zone dailies and deconstructing relevant gear for a chance to receive these style mats and then sell them on the market. Okay, what does this have to do with Mimic style? Yo, I'm about to get to that, okay? Given all of this information, it becomes clear that a possible way to turn these bound mimic stones into gold is by converting them into tradable, expensive style materials, and then selling those style materials. To do this, you'll have to have learned at least one motif for the style whose style materials you'd like to earn. To refer back to our previous example, if I wanted a Stendar stamp, I'd have to have at least learned one Steadfast Society motif. This way, I can go ahead and craft a piece of gear in the Steadfast Society style style with my Mimic Stone, and then deconstruct that piece of gear for a chance at receiving that style material. You can use the Multicraft function to speed up this conversion process. Then you may take your style materials and sell them for a fair amount of gold. The nice thing about style mats is that, if priced reasonably, they can sell fairly quickly. Those housing enthusiasts don't f around, man, they've got loads of gold to spend. The prices of style materials can be easily influenced by notions such as zone events taking place that increase the supply of certain style mats or new furnishing plans being introduced to the game that call for materials that were previously not as widely used. Be mindful of these things when you're looking to convert your mimic stones into gold so that you can pick the most profitable style mat. But that's all for this quick gold guide. Be sure to smash subscribe if you enjoy content like this and want to see more of it. I'd like to thank my YouTube members for sponsoring content like this, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!